The villagers are devastated following the attacks which led to the death of scores of their loved ones. They are in shock, in fear and disbelief. Speaking through his deputy, Governor Samuel Otom called for calm as he appealed to the people to be more vigilant going forward. We ourselves, we must be watchful. Let us watch and see what is happening. Let us watch if there are intruders coming. We should be able to make very quick report to the relevant authorities so that they can send the law enforcement agents to take care of the situation. The time has come for us to be watchful. Chairman of the Tupo local government council, Bako Eje, an indigenous of Omogidi whose son, brother-in-law and nephew were killed by the invaders disclosed that there has been no internal or external aggression in the community and wonder why the gruesome attack. Four days back, precisely they killed three persons. They blockaded our road and robbed our people of their belongings, machines. They cut it away with four machines. On their way, they met uh, three men uh, on a hunting expedition in the bush. They killed them. On the following day in the morning, we buried the three corpses. And they follow around 4 p.m. Precisely, to, precisely at about 4.15 p.m. On the day we buried the three corpses, they just came on us at a surprise and invaded our community. And they killed 50 persons. That is what has happened. We have not offended them. We have not touched their cows. We didn't even attack them because we don't have any weapons. They are defenseless. The youth who are agitated call for intervention as it was reported that they barricaded the federal highway in the area in protest. The one we are paying you to do for us is the government of the United States should please help us by the security strength. Because we don't want to go outside the constitution, we are now living at the mercy of the government by the security they provide for us. We didn't kill any of the crew, we didn't fight any of them, we are always at home, we don't go to our farms, they destroy all the farms. Even some of our cassava that are already planted, they will pull, pull it off for their cows. And we keep back it. So now we are relying on the government. Please, we need enough security to save the life of our people. And all the youth now are going back home to stay in our home. Because that is our ancestral home. And that is where we are meant to stay. And we are going to stay there. The state government delegation visited the displaced persons in Omogidi and toward areas where the killings took place. Meanwhile, Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State on Saturday called on the federal government to ensure that killers of Benue people are brought to justice. Autumn spoke when he visited Ngbang community in Guma local government area where 36 people were killed in a fresh attack. He lamented that most of the victims were women and children. The governor also visited the 40 wounded victims of the attack receiving treatment at the Benue State University Teaching Hospital in Makudi. Some of the injured were said to be taken to other hospitals.